Hey guys, my name is Brian with Ball Guy Side. If it's your first time here, I make videos to help students, parents, and teachers kick some class with education technology. So tips, tricks, tutorials, all that good stuff. If you like that, click that subscribe button. But this week, I'm gonna go through GimKit in every game mode available to you all the time right now. So it's gonna be quick and let's go and jump in. Okay guys, it is no secret that I love GimKit and I've used just about every single one of these quizzer type study guide programs under the sun. And this one is my favorite for a couple of reasons. One, I think the company just does an awesome job of making things fun and not really embracing so much the competitive nature of the ed tech business right now, but just saying, hey, if we can't fit the need, then try this tool, try that one. They're here for kids. I think that's awesome. So let's take a look at this. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on live and you're going to see first off, it brings you to your kits. If you've never seen Gim Kit before, you need to check out that video right there that walks you through how to teach remotely or just Gim Kit in general. So I've done some tutorials on Gim Kit that are full on. I've done some that are really short. If you want to see any of those, there's a whole playlist right there on all the Gim Kit tools, uh, tutorials that I've done. They are awesome. So go ahead and check that one out. But I'm in here, I'm in my kits. You can see I have assignments, classes, all that other good stuff. But let's say I'm with kids like right now or I'm gonna be in a few minutes and they're either in my classroom or in a Google Meet or Zoom, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this properties and elements. Um, and this is something I built at the beginning of my chemistry unit. So now if I click play, it gives me the options that I have available to me right now. Now they do some special uh, modes every once in a while, like the trust no one that I did a video on. I'll link that up right there. When that comes back out, that thing is awesome. So it's modeled after the popular internet game Among Us and my students just stinking loved it. So there's a quick uh, two tutorials on how to get going really fast on that whenever it comes back out. But these are the game modes that you have. So the floor is lava. If you don't know what that is, hang in there. Um, there's the classic and team mode, right? Now those, classic is just earn as much money as fast as you can by yourself, compete against everybody, sort of winner take all, right? Team mode is obviously teams doing the same thing so they can help each other out. If you do well, your team does well. If you do poorly, uh, your team does poorly. Some great ways to run through that one. But then the specialty modes down here. So humans versus zombies is essentially a team mode where everybody's score is decreasing all the time. So if you are a human, your job is to keep the humans alive by bumping up their health, by getting things right, buying power-ups, all sorts of things. The zombies end is basically the same way, right? So you, you getting questions right helps your team. But some of the fun human versus zombies things in there, instead of buying like a multiplier, uh, you get a chance to buy some things that humans or zombies might be looking for. So I don't want to ruin that too much. Go out and play that one. That's a lot of fun. Um, but basically one team survives and the other one, whoever dies first, uh, loses, right? That's that's always what happens. Um, infinity mode is really pretty cool. So as kids play through infinity mode, they have to get the infinity stones. And so the way to get them is to earn a buttload of points and, and then you just get them from the store. It's not easy, but when they do, whoever that first person is, they go ahead and snap and half of your students we won't say die because that's a little bit dramatic, but um, they get erased and then everything is brought back to balance. All right, the boss battle. This is the one I'm going to be playing with my students this week. So this is great for when they think that they know the material and you just want to show them who the boss is. You know what I'm saying? That one kid in the front row, like, what is up? Come on, bro. No. Uh, so this could be a student. It could be you. You could do it anonymously. It is fun to jump in there and wreck the kids every once in a while and have them go, whoa, like you're playing? Yeah, I'm playing. I love boss battle because what this does is it, it's another way to break down that barrier between you and your students. And if you get kids to relax, they're going to learn. I think that's awesome. So uh, super rich mode, pretty cool. Everything just, uh, you earn more, but everything costs more. So it's just another slight tweak on the game. Uh, kids seem to enjoy that too. Okay, I gotta say this, hidden mode, uh, they hate it. 
hate it. Now that doesn't mean they don't want to play it. It just means that they hate not knowing where they stand on the leaderboard, not knowing who to freeze, not knowing who to help, all sorts of things. So if you play hidden mode, be prepared for your kids to be frustrated or angry. Now, before this mode came out or in any of the other modes, I'll give you a little trick. If you have students in your class personally with you or even at a Google Meet, don't show them. So uh, I used to always project everything up front and then I started muting my projector or just turning it off and the kids were like, oh, come on. They hated it. I think they hated it because they couldn't like sandbag it. They had to work really hard. And so I thought that was pretty cool. Drain mode again. Drain mode is one of those ones that everybody's working forward, but it's a lot more like real life and that you don't just have income, you have outflow. So there's a slow drain and you got to keep your head above water. So that's kind of a cool one. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I saved the best for last. And one trick that I'm going to share with you after that. The floor is lava is sort of like drained mode in the sense that something is changing all the time for everyone. That's sort of the great equalizer. But as students play this mode, they get a chance instead of to increase their money to build th the tower so that everybody can stay above the lava really great way of getting kids cooperatively working together where they're in this thing together and it's not really so much a competition against one another that's pretty cool but here's the little tip trick uh spoiler for the end if you didn't see it pop up in every one of these you can click on learn more and read it for yourself okay but if for some reason uh you just like having a bald guy read directions to you you should join my seventh grade class no i'm kidding uh we're we're, we're full if that video right there helped you figure out which version you want to play with your students this week, then awesome. Go ahead and share that with somebody that you work with. Um, but if you like this kind of video, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Share it with somebody else. It, that really helps me out. I'm glad I could help you out. And you will see every video that I produce from here on out if you're subscribed. So um, please go ahead. That helps me out. That would be awesome. And uh, for Gim Kit, I think that's it. But if I miss something, drop it down in the comments. Tell me which is your favorite uh, game mode. What do you use Gim Kit for? What do you love about it? And is there another tool out there that you think is similar that your kids love? I'd love to check it out myself, do a review and help other people kick some class in 2021. So for Bri, I'm Ball Guys High. We'll catch you next time.